welcome to Beats, Rhymes and Life podcast. I'm Shakira. I'm Ash. The one and only Riz. In the doghouse. Oh, yep, yep, early yep. shot. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> and we have a uh, treasured guest here with us today. Treasured? Like <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? Hi, uh, I'm Lilo Gold. And we're so happy to have her, yes. like, ecstatic. <laughs> I don't have a round of applause Aww. button. But <laughs> 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 we, we, we were like so happy when ash when ash was like yeah and lilo's agreed we were like what <laughs> she, she what? and then every time he was like no she said she's still on it i'm like what she's not pulled out no shots to anybody yeah. <laughs> but, it's like, yeah. uh, like, i'm gonna message this week and i'm gonna message again at the end of the week just to make sure <laughs> i was like she's gonna think we're pests but like really she's coming no yeah. it's all good it's all good well, i like we're that because i'm kind you. of forgetful sometimes so it's good <laughs> it's good i've found with artists you can go one way or the other it's you can tell them and then that's it they're on it and they're definitely coming or you can tell them and chase them and then all of a sudden they disappear or yeah, something comes up an hour before recording. And it's, <laughs> and it's real hard. It's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Which is why we never tell anyone when we've got guests yeah, coming Yeah, literally we don't promote guests. <laughs> the only person that was promoted as a guest was Ricardo Williams and that's because he did it. And <laughs> we was like, oh cool, he's definitely coming then. <laughs> <laughs> because we get scared. We're like, if they don't turn up, we look silly. <laughs> like, oh wow. But yeah, so we don't. But yes, we're very happy to have Lilo here. And I'm today. happy to be here. Thanks Aww. for having me, guys. Um, So just, I was going to ask how's everyone's week, but instead I'm just going to start by saying we're not really talking to Riz right now. <laughs> yeah, Riz is, Riz is facing some static from uh, us right now. <laughs> we we made the effort of like, you know, booking a, a podcast night out mm-hmm. to go see Tiana Major down at Oxen Hall. Bearing and we booked it mind, a while ago, to be did. fair. We did, and bearing in mind, yeah, me and Ash have other concerts booked together. And when I posted tickets of them, he was over there like, whoa, 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 when did all of this happen? Like he was <laughs> like, we've excluded him or something. Even though we put everything in, in the, the group. group, in yeah. the group, and he just airs us, but that's fine. <laughs> um, and he actually agreed to come to Tiana and we were like, well, he's yeah, gonna come. Like, like, what? We were Riz happy. Is to come somewhere? <laughs> like, he's leaving his house? Right? And then? I don't know what you guys want me to say, but. We're not finished yet, so it doesn't matter. We're not done. Talk to to my lawyer. We're done yet. (laughs) And then Thursday comes, you know, I'm busy at work. I'm sat there and thinking, sugar, I've got to leave because, you know, I have to meet these law. I need to go to the Tiana Major concert. It's raining. I'm tired. I I feel like I'm writing a song right now, but (laughs) 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 that's how it was. And then I've said, uh, Asha said he's on his way. I've said, yeah, I'll be there soon. But no Riz. No word from him. He's reading. I'm seeing blue ticks all up in the, all up in the but chat. But do you want to know what's so funny? <laughs> is at the same time he was playing pro online with our other friends, wow. and I saw the other group, and I was like, "Cool." <laughs> so I was like, "Wait, <laughs> where's Riz?" Should I tell you what had happened? Was uh, where is it? So I'm then, not done. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You gotta wait. <sighs> and then he's like, "Yeah, I've got my feet up." And I was like, what do you mean? Are you coming? Are you not coming? What does that mean? And he's like, let me know what the vibe is saying. <laughs> and I'm like, the vibe? <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> what? So, yeah. We're not, we're, we're, not, we're not too fond of him right now. Yeah, we're done now, by the way. <laughs> like, I plead the fifth in it. Um, like, yeah, I, I went laser tag and um, what had happened was, you know when, obviously, you haven't Sorry, really... did Ash not go laser tag? Yeah, Ash goes right. to the oh, gym quite thought. regularly. <laughs> and I was exhausted. That's what, Ash that's goes to the gym quite regularly. So when he's doing all of that, you know, ducking, squatting, ducking, squatting, obviously it took his toll on my, my, you know. What day was laser tag? Wednesday. Oh, that's what I thought. What day was the concert? <laughs> <laughs> what day was the concert? You know what's it called? <laughs> um, no, uh, Dom's I'm still going to gun him, but I'll give him a little bit of a blag because everybody in work the next day was busted. Like, <laughs> I was aching. I was like, you know, when people finally gave up the info, I was like, oh, it's cool. So I wasn't the only one that was in bits. I, I was just like, to hide I, I, my feet well. were g- genuinely up. Like, <laughs> they needed to be. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I couldn't stand for. But you couldn't tell us like before. I'm sure you knew before nine o'clock you weren't. No, coming. generally speaking, I got, like I said to Shakira, I did intend to come because I spoke to you earlier in the day, which was my point, which is why I so was in bed. I was a hundred percent intending to come, and then when I got home. After like a few games of pro, I got comfortable in it. 
and then man, snuggled to sleep yeah, in his yeah, made, chair, innit? Like. No, I literally <laughs> laid down and then it was like, I'm not getting back up. But yeah, I, I apologise if that makes oh, any, wow, any you difference. Do? Yeah, I apologise. <laughs> you do? I, I, I like to hold myself to better standards. Than <laughs> cool. All right, we well, can we've, got, we've got that out of now. <laughs> so, we've cleared the podcast um, air. <laughs> Lilo, for the people that don't know, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, okay. Wow. Wow, that, so that much to tell. That wasn't a question, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know <laughs> I what? You have <laughs> it, no, it, it did. It really did. You know, usually people just ask one specific question and yeah. you, you really kind of got it rehearsed <laughs> in your head. All right, so I'm from East London. Um, an interesting yeah. fact about myself, I'm actually a twin. My mum's got two sets of twins. Oh, That's really? interesting. That's, yeah. Oh. Um, hard work. Non-identical. non-identical. Girl, boy. Oh, uh, really? Boy, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's cute. Um, I sing. A songwriter. I think I'm a producer sometimes. You sometimes. Know? sometimes I get in the studio and I try to get a little bit. It doesn't always work Clean out. some ideas out there. Yeah, but sometimes it they works. They come together. And right. I think I'm Kanye West for my all. Yeah, but I've been singing for a while. I didn't actually want to be a singer. Ever. Okay. No, I wanted to be a songwriter. And then I wanted to be an actress because I'm quite a good actress. I'm quite a good actress, if I do <laughs> say so myself. <laughs> if I do say so myself. But yeah, and then, I don't know, I, I kept writing songs for people and they weren't hmm. quite, just weren't quite doing it. Yeah. You know? So I was like, I'm going to do it myself. And Here we are. Here we are, Lilo Gold. How, how did you come across the name Lilo Gold? Like, was it something, obviously you said you weren't, intentionally going down the artist route was it something that someone else gave to you or did you pick the no i definitely picked it myself oh. what happened was um this guy wanted to manage me and he kept coming with these funky names like funky because my name's khadija i didn't want to use khadija i was like name. really yeah. that's a great name but i don't want to <laughs> use my name because i was like i don't want people to be like khadija i just didn't want it <laughs> so i was like oh what, what should i do what should i do and all my friends called me d or Deej, and he was like how about katie and i was like what the hell is that <laughs> i was like no that's so i was thinking work. i was thinking i was thinking i thought let me think of something quirky and then i thought of a lilo and i was like oh it always floats on top of the water. That's like me. No matter what happens, mm-hmm, I always yeah. stay afloat. And then the gold, the gold is just, I mean, it's a gold. <laughs> I, was, I was like, Lilo, gold. And I'm a Leo, so gold is like my colour. And I was just like, yeah, that's the one. That's the name we're going to go with. And so, yeah. That's actually like a, a, a decent origin story to I your like name. It. <laughs> it, has a, it has a meaning, which is always good. Because, you know, some artists, they just throw... Like random, words. random words together yeah. or like the first half of their last name and the yeah. second half of their first name or something well, like that like i have a really i don't like my name so riz is literally just like the first and the last lot of just everything it's named rodriguez <laughs> really <laughs> no, it's, I'm lying. oh it's not. <laughs> I, was like, oh, I like that name <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why i said that <laughs> Yeah, so like <laughs> mine isn't as nearly as interesting as yours, but obviously, um, we've been following your journey for a while. Um, obviously, we're big fans. Big fans <laughs> of Aww. what you do. Um, Although we got plugged in by Emma Vida when she was on the show last year. Yeah. We asked her like who who we listen to or who would you put out there because every podcast we do, we post a few songs and say this is who you should be listening to, whether it's new, old, unsigned, whatever. And she picked you. I was like, oh, who's this? And then yeah. We'll yeah. I came across stop playing Starry Night for yeah. about two months. <laughs> yeah. like. I came across um obviously I follow Xavier Black on mm-hmm. SoundCloud and obviously that's someone you've collaborated with. So I came across that track first, then obviously MV told us about mm. Starry Night and it was like I see what she's got going on over there. <laughs> yeah, but um obviously you've been doing the artist thing for a minute. How do you find it in terms of obviously navigating through like we have this thing of r&b in this country where it's suddenly rebirthed but as someone that makes like r&b type music how do you find it currently like is it a great time to be in like a uh, emerging up-and-coming r&b artist in the uk wow i don't know you know i don't really think of myself as an r&b artist okay because my new music is definitely not as R&B, mm. as the stuff I've put out. Yeah. Um, but it kind of started off because I was singing and people were like, R&B, and I was like, it's R&B? And they were like, yeah, <laughs> R&B. And I was like, cool. Um, I think it's great. I think we've got some really, really amazing artists. Emma V, for me, is hands down the best artist in the UK. I say it all the time. People always look at me. They're either like, yeah, or they're either like, 
Why are you saying she's the best? She's the best to me. She's the best to me. Like, her mind. Her, her being, she's a beautiful being. And yeah. then you add, like, all the talent and the engineering and the production and the quirky rapping. And, and you just got her. And I'm like, this girl's incredible. We don't deserve her. We really don't. I agree with you. We don't you. deserve her. But then I feel like there's so many other incredible singers that are really come. I feel like, you know what? UK R&B artists are actually very dope. Amazing. I feel like, you know, for a long time, because I was saying this the other day, I was like, when I was, like, younger, we had Jamelia or that. <laughs> come on. <laughs> That's... That was that, that was, was it. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have nothing. And Billy Piper came with a little little you know what I mean? <laughs> Piper, but we didn't you know? have like <laughs> we didn't have like R and B singers. Mm-hmm. And so now it's lovely and healthy to look around and be like, Yes, yeah, you've got singers. We, kinda, we yeah. had the other side of it. We didn't really have R and B. We had like soul singers. There's definitely yeah. been UK soul singers mm-hmm. and you know, older artists and stuff. But as R and B there wasn't really much representation. It was it was no. Lacking. America had like Destiny's Child. We had like Gabrielle, like the levels are just not the same. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then like it was weird because like I remember when I was singing, everyone was like, "Why? Why did you sing with a bit of an American?" I was like, "Because who was listening to UK? I was not listening to. I'm telling you now, I was not listening to Spice Girls. I can tell you that from yeah, they were great. Don't get me wrong, but what I wanted to sing was not was the Spice Girls. You know yeah. what I mean? That's fair enough. I mean, me personally, it's kind of bittersweet because I'm someone that obviously has a, like, I love R and B music in it. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's like it's come to the point where it's like there's so much music to take in that I like. Which is normally a good thing, but at the same time it's kinda like hard for me to this like not that you wanna compare artists or throw everyone in the same bracket, which happens a lot. Mm. But for me it's kinda hard that's why I was asking about obviously do you how do you find it to navigate? Because obviously when everyone's kind of just bunched together in no, this. No, just work with the best. Huh? Just work with the best. Good answer. Don't That's work it. with... Like, the thing is, I always believe in, like, working with people who are going to bring out the best, best in you. Like, I feel like a lot of R&B artists are just literally jumping in sessions with the same producers, making the same kind of songs. And that's where you get the oversaturation. Saturation, because yeah. it's just everyone being like, oh, is that that producer? And, that? and it, it, work with the best. Work with the people that are really musical, yeah. that really love what you do, and really hear you and say, you know what? We're gonna create something for you, and then you create music that always sounds. Well, like you kind of answered one of my next questions. Oh, sorry. Um, I have a <laughs> habit of doing that, you know. Do you know what it was? I was gonna <laughs> ask basically, um, like, we have this thing on here where we kind of like we've always talked about some of the best music that we enjoy is when artists have gone in with one particular producer or mm-hmm. maybe three or four producers and have they've created a sound for the artist rather than you go to this person you get a beat you go to that person you get a beat and it just doesn't sound as like cohesive in terms of like a great example um i'm not sure if you've listened to um the solange project i haven't yet you know i wanted to really digest it all over the place really sorry sorry to it's real bad break it to you